Alright, welcome back. Last time we killed the flesh, this time we're going to try and kill the cannon again. I'm changing the team a little bit. I don't know if I want... So I used the bounty hunter last time. And I kind of screwed myself because of turn order. So I'm picking her because she, from this slot, can throwing dagger everything that I need to hit. And then I also have this. And then I have the stun. And then I have breakthrough. I thought about using a man at arms. But I feel like... I feel like this will be better. Not that I'm going to stun the cannon, but I feel like she's a little better. Plus, we have a lot of this stuff. We have the wield, that, that. That's pretty cool. And you have that. Stuff is pretty much the same, what you're used to seeing in terms of loadouts for what we've been doing. Uh, yeah. And then this here kind of sucks. So hopefully this does enough to counterbalance that, so hopefully we don't get too stressed out. And then here, I'm actually going to change your color to the one I like the most. I actually like the second one too. That second one's pretty nice. Let's try that. I haven't tried that one yet. And then she's going to be our primary damage dealer with this and that. So hopefully we can do enough there. And then, sadly this is not wheel tactician, which would be fantastic, but otherwise we have this and this and that and then, you know, some normal stuff that you're used to. And my goal is that she just one-shots the dude. Hopefully. Quirk. Oh, clumsy. Okay. So, yeah. Before we start, I'm actually going to spend some gold here. I think I've seen this one time outside of the this wagon. And this looks like it makes slot 2 cleric, or vestal, really good. I just, I don't... I, I see so many positives here, like 1 negative. 15% stress damage does kind of suck, but... This thing literally does everything else, and then and then you can use like a book of sanity. So we're gonna buy that. I thought about getting this, but I don't want to spend more money. I don't know how good this is by comparison, because I could always use the, I think the martyr seal. I do lose some dodge, but yeah, you get the death blow resist and all that. So this might be actually better. And I wanted to get this too, because I don't have one of these yet. I feel like that's really good for you know buying that. Spinning all the gold that I just made. I feel like that's really good for the... For this guy, if I don't want to go like full transform on him. Because I was wondering, I was like, I need some stuff that helps this right here. And that seems to be the one I need. So we... I'd rather take him too, because he can hit the third slot, the second slot, all that. I uh, can't reach the fourth, which kind of sucks. But he can hit everything else, so if I really needed him to, he could come in clutch and kill this guy do some damage here, and then like I could spam Rake and clear the front line kind of thing, but he doesn't work with the Vestal, and I feel like the Vestal is really important. So, hopefully this works. If not, it kind of sucks, and I may go back to doing short quests off camera kind of thing. I don't know. Because I felt really bad before that I did that. But then, like if I need to rebuild some team, you know, If I need to rebuild the team a little bit, um, sometimes I won't have the energy for the camera to keep recording and stuff like that, so I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. Hopefully there won't be any more stupid shit where I have a Arbalist get double pulled into a death. So I have food. I do have like double food consumed, so I'm just gonna buy all the food. So double food. Two keys. I, I have a lot of scouting, but I haven't found a lot of secret rooms and stuff uh, lately. I forget what we use this for, I think the beast carcass, and then this for the trees, and then the potential blight from other crap. And then the rest looks pretty good. One more shovel. I'm starting to over-prepare again. Eager to end the tiresome domestic distraction, I instructed my newly formed militia of hardened bandits, brigands, and killers to go forth and do their work. Compliance and order were restored, and the noisome population of the hamlet was culled to more manageable numbers. Manageable numbers, that's so sinister. The smell of Come on, ancestor. and gunpowder hangs in the air. The war machine is close. That's scouting, though. I think it's over here. Oh, we have to go through so many fucking battles! 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So it's up here. Ah, oh, let's go through treasure. Deal with Curio later. Not too wild about Curio. Because I know I can get through the treasure one. So hopefully the farts aren't too bad getting up there. Alright, this is okay. We surprised them. Nice. Okay. So we might go for a lot of barrier damage here. Well struck. Like do a breakthrough kind of thing. Never your turn. Yeah. A powerful blow. And then we will take some stress damage, but can't really be helped. Right on. Give them no that was very helpful. And hopefully we hit this. <laughs> I know I was asking for a lot. As the I wasn't too worried. Purchase, I've never seen this move. I've never had her up here, apparently. She still does stress damage. Screw you, Chrome. Alright. Just eat this pig. Damn. She's so fast. Reeling. Oh. To break. No. This is so bad. I think she's at like 1 HP, too. That's uh, 58. 58. 73 plus stun. Shit, man. I was gonna say, I know she's gonna miss here. I need to kill this thing. Continually Damn. Destroy she did so much damage up there. Well, not really a ton of damage, but like... That crit 8 for Blight? Are you joking? She crit for 8 with that shit. It's quite a bit. So you do have a lot of food, though. So hopefully there aren't too many battles in between here and there. We did get super lucky on the surprise, because we were able to take down most of them there. Uh, torch is good. I hate this thing. Okay. Good double hit. Good single hit. Maybe the double's better. I don't know. Nice. What? <laughs> Uh, shit. Let's pick this one off. Destroyed. If she gets to go, it's usually dead, which is nice. Damn, she's taking a lot of damage. Maybe I needed the man at arms. Damn. Uh, it's double stun. So damage is a problem right now. We have a lot of healing, hopefully. It kind of sucks too because the team I would normally take in here, like the Houndmaster Jester combo, is not good against the boss, so I can't really use it. Nice. It's a single mistake. Let's just hit this. Ooh, got the crit on the right ones. A faint hope blossoms. Yeah, so we don't have a lot of dot damage, so we're just gonna have to brute force our way through this dude. But otherwise, yeah, it would take a mass... Um, lead AoE team for the wheel, because I feel like it's still pretty strong. But you don't get to do that. Because you have these assholes. Or, like, you have the boss, and the boss doesn't, like, do well the bleeds. And bleed, incremental damage does not do well in that fight. Like, you're not trying to, you know, kill everyone in four turns. You're trying to kill one dude in one turn. Every turn. Otherwise, you're fucked. It's unholy, right? Yeah. Maybe that was wrong. Maybe I should have single healed. I don't know. Yeah, I probably should have. We're doing okay damage. But the goal is going to be that she one shots the matchman. And then one of these two can clean up if need be. Prodigious size alone does not I don't know if that's how it's going to work, but that's. Blade. I hope. I don't know. This fight's really perplexing because I. You need a combination. Oh, shit. Oh, this is bad. It sucks because I have to go through this room. It's not like I can't go around it either. So I'm pretty worried. 7 to 16. 5 to 11. Just want her. Fuck. Just want her gone. That actually sucks. Don't get pushed, please. Nice. Okay, so we're not doing too bad, though. I'm gonna just try and pick her off. It's pretty low. It's not a low chance to kill, but 
It is possible. Yeah. Yep. That sounds right. I hate missing 78, dude. Like, anything... If I miss over a 70, it makes me so sad. <laughs> so we have to go through one of his attacks. Did I get a stun either? No, I got a resist. Shit. No, wait, no, I did. Okay. There you go. As the enemy Someone's crumbles. doing their job. She's trying to say she's the better sniper by throwing fucking daggers at people instead of uh, shooting a crossbow. Getting pretty lucky on the resist, though, so I'm thankful about that. Um, it could buff. I'm just gonna hit this thing. Can't really do much about it. Hopefully, there are no stupid confusion spores, which I could see in the future. I could see confusion spores happening right now and screwing up my whole team. Oh, crit, yeah, thanks, because it just, it needs to crit. Like, it can never just do its own fucking random damage kind of thing. Like, it's, doesn't it stress too? Like, that move literally does everything. And it scrambled the entire team, even though someone dodged because of the fact that everyone else got scrambled around. Just screwed me. That was a good shot, actually. And uh, I can't do anything up here. Let me move back. I would like to get that shot, but I can't. And hopefully she can move back. I don't know. Like, I don't like having these two on the front line either. That's a terrifying prospect. I wish I knew how much she can move. I should look at that. Let's do this. Let's move back. She was one. Here it is. Yep. Quickly the tide it's turns. so predictable. It's so predictable. It's actually funny at this point. Oh, we have a decent chance to kill here. Their Got formation it. is broken. Maintain the offensive. Okay. And now if he goes first, she could die here. If I retreat, does this thing stay alive? That's my actual question here. He has two speed. I think she has two speed. She has negative three. Um, so you need to hit a stun here. And I should move so she can single heal. The only universe where she probably lives is if you hit a stun. Because otherwise he's going to do a group attack. Killer. Nice. Ooh. Okay, so I think we're okay out of there. So we need to get some damage in now. And not get hit with ridiculous a confusion spores. Crits are helpful. I'm taking a lot of stress here too. Nice. That was probably like the highest we could have rolled, I should have looked. But that felt pretty high, all things considered. What? Oh my god! You're a fucking dick. You're such a dick. Alright, 61%, I'm not gonna risk that. I'm just gonna spam heal myself. And just hope, hope I can kill him next turn. If one of these two, if she crits, I might actually be able to kill. The ground quakes. At 34. Oh, nice. Just keep healing. Just bring yourself back. Get her for the stun here, because if I hit, I hit it for 18. Damn, she has a lot of damage. So if I hit for like 18 and then you hit for 16, it could die. Or I could do this, like. Yep. Yep, I should have went for the damage. Here comes another crit. No? Okay. Because yeah, I should have counted that a little more. Actually, she would have had to hit for 14. No, 16. Actually, that was... That wasn't a... Well, she hit for 18. Was, that wasn't a bad choice. Damn. Like some, uh, some scouting, bro. Okay. Get rid of that. So even if we get thrown out of here, we got so much gold in like two battles. That's not too bad. We have a lot of food too, let's just eat some here. So if we, I don't think we have a stress eater, so if we can't, that's going to be like, I think 10 to get the full big heal, and then it'll be 5 if we have to eat on the run. So we need 15 food, we have 18 left, so I think we're okay. If I did everything right. Let's... Probably shouldn't use this here. I say that and then I just do it. 
If only treasure could cool. staunch the flow. That was worth other right, world Cool and easy fight. We can. Would you would you like to run that by me again? That's okay though. We like we have enough group damage. It keeps putting her up front. That's like the shittiest part. It keeps putting her right there. Like the game is really trying to snowball her out of the like into the grave. That's exactly what's happening right now. That was weird. But see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it completely... Oh, man. I guess I shouldn't have went for that. I did it, so hopefully one of them would live, and then she like, group heal or something just to get Remind some healing out. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious Oops, killer. Back. That's what I'm saying, though. This game is so snowball-y. It's my only real complaint. Like, it's fun as fuck. I'm not a huge fan of all the percentages going off, like, every literal moment of the game. And then Snowball is a huge factor. Right, we have an empty fight there, though, so that's lucky. So we can probably get through this, hopefully. Nice. So we got pretty lucky. It was just that one fight that really screwed us. Otherwise, it was pretty easy getting in here, all things considered. So I could... Ah, let's just do this. I don't want to deal with damage right now. I just don't... I'll do this, and I'm actually going to try... Focus fire, you. Nice. She's getting a lot of crits though. So that's really helping. Like, my damage dealers are doing their thing. It's just, the only thing that's really screwed us so far has been the RNG on the movements and surprises and stuff. Like, that's the only real negative thing that's happened. I think we missed a easy shot on her too, but that's okay. And now, I don't think these two can hit her. They might be able to, but I some good healing off. So I don't know if their groping swipe can reach back there, I can't remember. We'll see. I mean, we're about to find out, right? Nice, she's getting lots of crits. I don't know if the game was patched, and they finally fixed crits or something for your team. Two to four, that's not... that's what? Four to eight? That's four to nine, that's actually better. Just on paper. Yeah, let's go for this. Nice! Cool, crits. Good. Good RNG on our side right there. some dodges too. Okay, so we're bringing it back. Slowly. And I think this is the one time where her... Because mortality debuff is... What is it? Mortality debuff is the uh, death store thing, right? That's what I'm assuming. That's what I'm hoping too. Okay, you can keep doing it actually. Just start doing that on the, the boss fight too. That's the only thing I have. We need it there more than anything else. We'll stun here, actually. It's a nice little rhythm, too. It's like damage, stun, damage, stun. Alright, and now... Let's heal her, actually. And if we get one more turn, we can group heal. I don't think we're gonna get another turn, though. And I think the camping heal's gonna almost carry us back. Oops. That's actually pretty low. We might get one more turn. We'll play low on these damages, which is fine. It's fine. It is fine. Okay, I was waiting for like crit into some shit right there. To uh that's one of the few instances where this scroll came in handy. What? It was just five turns! We're on turn six, right? I guess we should have been there through there a little faster, but Success I get so it. Clearly in view. Or is it merely Part of you wants to get rid of the bandages. Of the light. I need to get rid of the torches, actually. So let's torch it. The match is struck. A blazing star is the... born. Yeah. <gasps> cool. No. I have the medicinal herbs. No. Okay. A handsome reward. I can't even eat this. task well performed. Oh, she stole it. Whatever. I don't care. I don't want that stuff. I mean, it would have been nice to heal with, but it's fine, dude. It's completely fine. A spark without Twelve. Healing. Holy a shit. Without hope. Okay, so we got here basically in one piece. We do have a mortality debuff. Does this not work? Damn. So she has minus damage, minus speed, plus stress, which none of these are really detrimental because she is just going to spam heal the entire time, basically. We're gonna restring this crossbow. Doesn't this... 
Okay, I thought one of these increased healing received for like combats, but I guess not. Which is okay, it's fine. We're gonna do this. And then what do we have left? Five. So I might do this. Cause she doesn't have any like actual damage. Does someone have a disease? I should look at this. Griping. Wasting. She has tapeworm. I was gonna say that's what. Actually, is the snuff box two? Oh, it's so good. Disease cure for two. On two people, that's amazing. So we'll get this. Which maybe we didn't need, and then. I can't, I don't like yours the most. Like that's not too bad. That's annoying, but you can deal with it. So let's let's get that one. I mean, I could have encouraged. There was a case to be made for that. And this is where this uh, I had the huge conflict here with the man at arms, because I love the man at arms camping seals more than hers, because she just buffs herself. You know, it's like whatever. Who cares? The man at arms would buff everyone's dodge, which is helpful, and give everyone crit, which can help one shot those matchmen. So it was very, very tough to bring these two. So I'm going for like a third damage dealer instead of putting it all on these two, because if I have two damage dealers, I don't think I can get enough damage on the boss. So you have to really trade that off. I mean, maybe this, maybe the her thing takes off this debuff and I just got unlucky because I know it said the 50% chance or whatever. So let's... and we do have a lot of gold so I think we actually made more money than we spent. The way which is, is good lit. so if we do the fail it's not clear. too bad we still came out we ahead. I don't know we spent a lot of money coming here. I think we came down to like 92,000. Okay. So let's go up here and then let's double check our skills. And we're gonna say it again. Let's double check our skills when we get up there. Just to make sure that we don't screw up again. So we're going to do that by double checking our skills and not going in there with the wrong thing. So to prevent that, we should just double check our skills, right? So we are going to do that right after this. So we're going to do this, we're going to you know, pop the thicket, and now let's double check corruption. our skills. <laughs> with missing uh, this is good because I think that uh, that double dagger highwayman, he can shank and bleed. So this is pretty good. Plus the extra dodge is really nice. Oh, we need this to hit the front line. We need this to snipe. We need this to... If there's a world where I can hit both the matchman and the uh, the cannon with this, I'm going to do that. Just get the damage in. Um, you. This is good. This is almost not good. <clears throat> but I do have my stun charm, so... It's kind of like, why did I bring the stun charm if I don't plan to stun with it, you know? <sighs> this is a tough call, because I could use Breakthrough and Iron Swan, and I could guarantee that I could hit that fucker wherever he's at. So that means I take this off. Hmm. This is actually really difficult right here. Because I'm trying to... Let's come back to her. So I'm trying to piece together my turn orders for her. Because it's like, I could Iron Swan, and then like, buff, or stun, or do something else. I could like, break through, Iron Swan, break through, kind of thing. So I'm not sure yet. You... Bullets are good, multi-hitting attacks are good, this... Does anyone mark? Does it matter? Debuff resist, that's actually helpful. Let's got another text. Uh, this is good for patch healing. I almost don't want this. Because there's always going to be more than one person on the map, I feel like. So... The only thing that sucks is if the cannon gets into the front slot, I have to bola, which is not as much damage as this. So I don't know. This... I There's a case to be made that I could take this off. There's definitely a case for that. I'll try that instead. Lowering the accuracy... No, this is good. I think I think this is the better one. We can do this. Do we need extra heals? Maybe. So this gives us attacks on three slots. Attacks on the front two. 
a single target if we find ourselves in that situation. And this. I feel like this is a little better. So I'm okay with that. Even though he does, or she does have lower heals, it's mainly the buff. The extra heals received is going to be really good with the Vestal. So the Vestal can, you know, help keep someone up that way. And then you, I don't need to change anything. Like, there's no movement skills in here, so you're fine. And then you. So the reason this is difficult is because... My game plan was to leave up the... The Gunner Highwayman. In the back. Because I can just heal through it with a group heal, almost. You know? So I'm not worried about that. I just got another text. I'm, someone's really trying to get a hold of me. And having Iron Swan is really good. Like, the only reason I want to keep this is because I only have a couple bandages left. And so being able to cure that bleed from the Highwayman if he fucking drops it on me is going to be really good. Plus it gives up my, you know, puts up my damage. I feel like this is the right call. Because I can stun him each turn and then break through and, you know, get some incremental damage and just slowly chip him down in between turns. It's not like I'm going to miss because I have the, uh, her frontline buff. And then I have something that hits the third slot and something that hits the fourth slot just in case, right? Okay, I like this more. The more I look at it, I like it. Oh, nervous. I was more nervous about the the flesh, especially with, like those first three turns. Those were really bad because I think my vessel just got destroyed by the by the tentacle. Okay. But then that fight turned out okay. Like after the we light, got a handle on it, the it was promise great. of safety. Plus she didn't get blighted for like two turns or something, which was really good. Right. Um. Is there one full HP? Stress again. I like that the background changes each time too. We can surprise bosses. Nice. You can surprise bosses apparently. That is in fact a thing. So if I break through here. 6 to 10. It would actually be pretty clutch if she kills this thing here. Impressive. Got the crit in the front too. Maybe should have stunned, maybe that was wrong. I don't know yet, but now we get... Our biggest damage dealer gets to actually pop this thing for max damage. So we got a good opening round of damage there. And then... Higher chance to hit this. One to three. I mean, all this damage counts, right? Hit for two. That's two less damage that I have to do. Okay. And then... I'm kind of regretting not stunning here, especially when that happens, because he had both. But we did resist the debuff. So he's going to reinforce. He's in the back now, so now I need my... Actually, I don't need my sniper specifically. I can hit this. For eight, so I might have to... I'm going to... Shit. Double Such shit. I can do assault. without that, man. Not be left unanswered. Just, ugh so soon. The thing is, if I... <sighs> hmm. Cause like, I could stun... Shit. I hate these choices. Cause... I could stun him here and hope that my ridiculous dodge chances or my I should say my ridiculous dodge chance if she doesn't seem to have a oh damn okay. so her dodge chance should kick in I'm gonna group heal so that's the thing I put everything on her to kill him and then I do no damage to this I kinda wanna get more damage in but I, let's, just do this. let's play safe and this is going to be a long fight, regardless. Nice. Got the good heal. Right. 
now you need to snipe this. Obliterated. Okay. So we get no damage that turn, which does suck. But we do heal and start coming up a little bit. Shit, I should've looked at her damage. She has 12 to 27. Does it calculate everything right now? Yeah, it does. Is that 12 to 27? Hmm. Maybe we could group attack here. 1 to 3, 1 to 3, 1 to 3, 2 to 5. Because if I group attack, I can start shipping this dude down. And then she has to hit an Iron Swan, though. But if I do this, I can Iron Swan and try to kill it. Oh, nice. Or we can just one shot it. I think 16 was her max, so we got really lucky there. That's a lot of damage, dude. Oh, plus the bleed. Oh, it's such a horrible. This guy does so much damage. I fuck. Ugh. I need to get rid of him. I think I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna like Bola. And just like chip him down. Masterfully executed. It's at 1 HP. As always, finding myself at the 1 HP mark. Just keep doing this. I wanted a single heal there, but I felt like that might have been a little better. So what's his speed? Five? What's your speed? Six. So if we get lucky and we get to go first, we could actually finish him. I'm probably gonna bolo again, actually, all things considered. And then we might... Oh good, finally, some dodges. Some luck. Actually, I'm gonna make sure he needs to die. Like, I'm Guess wasting an attack it. here. I could bowl and get a little more damage, but... This was the safer line of play, even if I took the extra hit. Because if I take the cannonball, I'm fucking dead. That's the reality of the situation. Alright, so hopefully he doesn't summon a melee dude this time. I think he did, yeah. Damn it. If he didn't, that would have been a good turn for us to really start coming back. 14... Yeah, so area damage is good, you just don't want, like, incremental area damage, you don't want bleed, you just want, like, spammable area effect shit. He needs to die ASAP. Okay, just making sure he dies. And then this way we can... Mm. I want to get the damage in. I think I could Bola. 5 to 11, and then 2 to 4. 2 to 4, 4 to 8. We got double crit, nice. Alright, so she's doing her job. And we're dodging, good. We need that. So, the Vestal has been a really clutch uh, substitution. I feel like I have much less pressure on the fight. It's just really... If I can kill this thing quick enough. Like, if I dodge like a blanket fire, that's really good. If he doesn't summon a certain thing, that's going to be really good. Are you really tempted to just spam the flashing daggers and have her try and kill this thing? Like, have her try and snipe it? But, since she goes first, if she rolls a crit, this thing is gone. But she hasn't done that. She only did that, I think, the one time. There we go. Annihilated. This has got to be safe. And then we can bowl him. Things will be... Shit, I forgot he had that move. Unbalanced. Um, this is actually a turn where we can single heal for this. Nice, good, I brought it back. And she'll break through next turn, most likely. Oh, I think he's alive. Fuck, that's twice, I hate this 1 HP crap, dude. Oh, it makes me so sad. Oh, we're in trouble. So Iron Swan needs to hit here. So we're actually going to use this. I don't know if you see what I see right now. I think this is exactly how I lost the... the last encounter. Got really lucky that she hit the 55, by the way. 
That's exactly how I lost the last encounter, I think. I hit a crit on... Did he just summon a... Good. Alright, this is our chance. Okay, so I can... Yeah, I think, like, I got a crit or, like, I got bleed damage or something. And that just completely fucked me. I really want to go for this. Because if she hits it, then I can just blind fire this. And if I don't, I have to bull up. But at the same time, if I group heal, let's just group heal. Let's just bull up. Just play it safe. Alright, so we are. We're actually winning right now. Like, this thing is low health. My stress is down. He summoned a big dude? You can do that? Shit. It's actually pretty scary. Um, let's go for this. I may actually leave him up for a turn. Because if I do this, he can only summon Highwaymen. Like, or not Highwaymen, the match guy. Am I wrong? He can only summon the match dude. I have to deal with his blood and his, uh, his bleed damage is what's gonna kill me. But that's the same thing I've been doing. I've been trying to heal. I've been trying to single target heal through shit. Or like group heal. The main reason I actually want to leave him up is the fact that it's one it's one attack instead of taking two attacks. Like, I'm just taking less damage, I feel like. it's The stress damage is going to add up, but my team is so low stress. This is... interesting. Okay, so we're about halfway through. Then he does that, and he makes me regret every single thing that I completely thought of when he does that kind of shit. We hit the counter crit heals though, so that was really good. Then hopefully... Okay, this is how I could lose this fight. So I actually have to switch here. And she has to Iron Swan. Nice. That's the only way I could actually lose this fight right now. Is... Point blank into... Resetting my positioning... Into match guy that I can't reach. That was the way I lose this fight. So let's... I guess we're going to try and heal through this. I mean, that bleed's going to stack up really high, though. If he just spams that, he could actually get my... My, uh, my stack up to, like, 9 per turn, which... This is going to be really fucking hard to heal through on top of his other stuff. So let's... For that. Alright, one, actually. Like, I don't want to risk her... Like, trying to... I mean, she could Iron Swan and try and kill it. Kind of thing. Nice. Good crit. So we're almost through this. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Damn it, that's the one person that doesn't need it. Yeah, he's gonna keep doing this. Hopefully someone gets some resist. Alright, we got one. We have a double bleed here, so we might actually use the bandage on this turn. So no more point blanks into some shenanigans, please. That's what's gonna kill me here. Maybe it, mm. I was going to say, maybe I should have her attack this thing, but I don't know. So since the order of turns came a different way, which I'm wondering why, you have 6 speed, what's my speed, like, 3? So we got kind of unlucky there. Like, I need to make sure he dies. It does suck that I miss out on some damage there, but I need to make sure he dies. So let's actually, what's your stun, 95? Let's try to summon this turn. Let's just not deal with it. Like, it could get some damage, but let's just mitigate some damage, because we're... Our fight control's in a good spot right now. Like, the healing isn't the problem. So I think... I... I think we have this, barring some ridiculous garbage. And I know I'm being really inefficient there. Like, I could have her try and snipe that, but I'm putting... I'm basically putting it on one person to kill it instead of using three attacks to make sure it dies, you know. And then I get this in return, so it's, it's still not bad. A dizzying blow to body and brain. The bleed fuck for five turns? Alright, we need to heal this. Then 71. We could heal for I think this heals for like six. Might heal for five or six, depending on what I have. And I sneak in one damage, you know, let's just play safe. It's been the whole thing of this fight, is let's just play safe. 
14 turns too. I hope they don't get pissed off that this is taking so long. I forgot how long it took last time too. You could roll a crit. You haven't done it for a while. You used all your crits coming in too. See, this is why we do this. This is exactly why... There we go. This is exactly why we do this. We have four attacks that can make sure that that thing dies. And then we got two dodges. That's actually really lucky. So, you're... That's the good part about her, is she has massive HP for an actual, like, range damage dealer. So that's really good. Alright, match man. Shit. I hate when this turn comes up like this. That's okay, though. Like, if that happens, we just get the... We try to stun. We have, like, a 70 or so chance, yeah. And then that takes one of his turns off, and then we can just heal. Okay, so we're we're okay. We just need some. If we get some decent rolls on like the enemies and stuff, we're good. I think summoning the big dude was actually the worst thing he could have done. For it's been very lucky for us. There we go. Like she, I think she's one shot him every time she's hit him. Like she's always hit for over uh, sixteen. But I still don't want to risk it. Right, we're almost there. We can almost focus fire it down on this turn. Let's just keep... Let's play it safe. Let's just play it safe. I don't know, what's it at? 2 to 5? I'm really looking at it. It's 2 to 5, 4 to 8, so that's 6 to... 13. Plus your hit. I could kill it this turn. Okay, that just made it a lot easier. I'm actually going to break through this turn. Just get a little more damage on it. So it's a two, so now we can... Realistically, we can kill this thing here. See? This is why I didn't go for it. Because that shit can happen. You can reach that far? That's fine, she's actually taking the least amount of damage. I think I'm going to go for it here. Two. <laughs> One. Uh, <laughs> you see why I hate this shit? And then crit for 12. Metal like, it just it made it as hard as possible for me. It's like, these two rolled the lowest. It's okay, though. The Vestal was the MVP. Vessel is the complete MVP of that fight right there. Having the group heal made a huge difference. You have an attack? Fuck your poker, dude. Let's get this damage in. His damage isn't that high, thankfully, it seems like. Uh, probably gonna break through. Wow! Yeah! Doing all of the damage. Nice. <sighs> Their cursed champion falls. Take bosses. Moonring. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Uh, what's worth the least amount? Why the food? No torches and the food. Bye, food. And we're out. Goodbye. So the Vestal and the extra range damage is what I needed that fight, is what it seems like. Because the Bounty Hunter did really good damage, but having the flexibility of having everyone able to hit rank uh, slot three and four was really, really helpful. So, yeah. Cool. That's what I like to see. I don't care if I get any positives, because the positives are, you know, they're cool, but the negatives can be more detrimental. So there we go. And then let me check this text real quick. I was lord of this place before the crows and rats made it their domain.
Cool. We came out with some some good cash. Let's. Uh, we have bosses left, so we're. Wield boss is gone. Ruins boss is gone. Warren's boss is gone. We don't have a lot of time left. I don't think we can do another boss fight, so let's. I already have this. Honestly, let's. Let's cut it there. Maybe we'll go for this next. Yeah, I want this. So I guess we'll try for this thing next time, see if we can actually do it. Explore 90% of rooms, but yeah. So, thanks for watching. I'm happy we took down that boss. We only have two more. And then after we're done with those bosses, we can do the... The dankest of dungeons. So let's look at the... I forgot to look at the matchstick. That's really good. There's no, like, slot requirement on it either. That's pretty good. That's almost... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's like a little bit weaker than the musket ball, but you don't have the penalty. I like the trophies. That's It's an interesting system. I wish they were at the top. I wish it was like, you know, in the slots, I wish it was like Ancestor and then Trophy and then the rest of your stuff, or like Trophy first, instead of having to go all the way to the fucking bottom, because these are actually useful. Because basically, if you put the trophies at the top, you have the all of the useful items and the powerful items, and then you have all the... Mediocre items at the bottom, but now it's like, I have good items at the bottom, good items at the top, I have to jump through and stuff. That's a small point to complain about, but you see what I'm saying. So next time, probably this, because I want that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.